But here's the biblical fact, and you need to understand, as I need to understand, that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came to tell us and reveal to us what God the Father is like, He said, God is a Father to everyone who would come and take the Son as the Savior of the life. He's the Father. And the story that we call the parodical son that was read to us this morning has nothing to do really in reality with the son. All the sons, they are supporting cast in the play. But the major character here is the father. The story is all about the father. It's about the heart of the father. It is about the character of the father. It is about the loving characteristics of the Father. And Jesus wanted us to know what His Father, with whom He coexisted before the creation of the universe, He wanted us to know what His Father is like, so He tells us this story. He wanted us to comprehend and take in deep into our hearts, deep into our minds, what the Father is like, what the nature of the all-powerful and the almighty God whom we call our Heavenly Father is like. And so he begins the story in Luke 15, 11. If you haven't already turned to it, please turn to it in your Bibles. We will read the same story for the next two weeks as well, because it's going to take me three messages to cover the story. And he begins by saying, there was a father. And this is the focus. Please listen carefully. Whether you and I have had or do have good fathers or not so good fathers, that's beside the point. Whether you and I have had harsh fathers or kind fathers, that's beside the issue. Whether you and I have had or have adorable fathers or abusive fathers. That's beside the issue. God, Jesus wants us to know what God the Father is like. Jesus is saying that this is what the Father in heaven is like. And therefore, listen to me, any and every sound teaching and preaching and thinking must begin with the Father. It must begin with the Father. It must start with the Father. It must focus on the Father. People and churches and institutions that go into false belief systems and end up becoming an apostate is because they cease to begin with the Father. They begin with me and my needs. They begin with me and my life. They begin with me and my family. They begin with me and my feelings. Now, nothing wrong with that in itself. Nothing wrong with any of these things in themselves, but they ought not to be the primary focus. Why? Because when God the Father is my primary focus, it is your primary focus, me and my needs, you and your needs are going to be met in His glory and in His riches. 